liquid is poured into a container at a constant rate of 30 cmq per second so here what we have we have some sort of a container and if we have liquid poured into it at a rate of dv by dt suppose that rate is a and at the same time uh, liquid is pouring out that means negative rate so dv by dt is b at which it is pouring out then if they say uh, what is the overall rate of water in the bucket so dv by dt that would be amount pouring in minus amount pouring out so this is this is general idea of finding out about the rates of that is happening uh, simultaneously so if you take a look think about this uh, this bucket of water and what you have the amount of water in the bucket can either increase or or decrease suppose it depends on as the water is poured into the bucket how it is working and as the water is pouring out of the bucket at what speed is it pouring out based on that we can make up our mind whether the amount of water in the bucket whether it's increasing or decreasing either way the rate would be found by subtracting it from the amount pouring in amount pouring out so question number a they mentioned that the amount of water pouring in is 30 so dv by dt is 30 so this is pouring in and the amount pouring out is 2 by 15 of v so this is the pouring out negative rate this is 2 by 15 of v so if you want to find the overall uh, rate of the water in the bucket that should be 30 minus 2 by 15 of v now this is done but we have to express it in this format that they ask in the question we can multiply both sides with minus 15 so it turns out to be on the left hand side minus 15 into dv by dt on the right hand side minus 15 into 30 is minus 450 and this would be minus minus plus and this would be 2v so it is shown we can write therefore minus 15 dv by dt equals to 2v minus 450 and uh, the next part is solving the differential equation so question number b is solving the differential equation we have to integrate by the separable method so let's do this so this is going to be question number b dv equals so let's bring all the uh, v on one side so 2v minus 450 equals to 1 by minus 15 we want to bring all the constant on the right hand side so integration integration now to integrate this remember we're going to use the uh, reciprocal rule of integration this comes from the concept of opposite of differentiation so d by dx of ln ax plus b is going to be 1 by ax plus b so it's reciprocal of the linear into the chain rule d by dx of ax plus b that means if you integrate this it has to be reciprocal of a linear it won't work for quadratic or trigonometric or anything else only for reciprocal of linear this would be ln of ax plus b and opposite of the chain rule would be d by dx of ax plus b so there would be a plus c over here so this is going to be ln of 2v minus 450 divided by d by dv of 2v minus 450 is going to be only 2 because derivative of 450 is 0 and here it would be minus 1 by 15 t plus c is the constant so this is the general solution of the differential equation but they gave the values v equal to 1000 when t equals to 0 usually they can uh, give us a story that initially uh, the amount of volume amount of water is 1000 cm cube or something but they just did not give a story just t equal to 0 v equals to 1000 so this is going to be when t equals to 0, v equals to 1000, then ln 2 into 1000 is 2000, 2000 minus 450, it's 1550. So 1550 divided by 2 and this would be 0 plus c. So therefore c equals to half ln 1550. We can write down the expression now. So, ln 2v minus 450 by 2, that is half, equals to minus 1 by 15t 
plus half ln 1550. So we have found the particular equation uh, of the differential uh, equation. So the particular solution of any differential equation is when we know the constant already. So we have to rearrange this and write it in the form of v equals to ft in terms of t. So we have to rearrange this. Now we need to know the rule for natural exponential function. This is uh, e to the power x equals to a. Therefore, x equals to ln a, and the opposite is also true. ln x equals to b. Therefore, x equals to e to the power b. So this is what we are going to use it. Uh, now this is going to be. We can uh, multiply both sides with two. So this turns out to be ln two v minus four hundred and fifty equals to minus two by fifteen t plus ln one five five zero. Therefore, e to the power, this is not e to the power, therefore, 2v minus 450 equals to e to the power minus 2 by 15t plus ln 1550. We can use the rule of indices to break this down as multiplication. So e to the power minus 2 by 15 t into e to the power ln 1550 and you remember e to the power ln anything is that thing e to the power ln x is x so we can just write the value of e to the power ln 1550 as 1550 this will be e to the power minus 2 by 15 t so this is 2 v minus 450 we can write 2 v equals to 450 plus 1550 e to the power minus 2 by 15 t and now we can divide both sides with 2 so v equals to 450 divided by 2 that's 225 to the 4 225 plus 1550 divided by 2 is going to be 2 7 the 14 7 75 e to the power minus 2 by 15 t there is one more question here uh, it says find the limiting value of v at t tends to infinity. So when t tends to infinity, you have to remember e to the power t is zero. So it's better whenever you have a question like that, t tends to infinity. So what you do uh, here, write for e to the power minus two by fifteen t equal to zero. So write this. First, it would be 225 plus 775 into 0. So this would be 225. Since e to the power minus 2 by 15 t is cannot be equal to 0, it has to be greater than 0 uh, because of the asymptote. Hence, limiting value is 225. Liquid is pouring into a container at a constant rate of 20 cm cube per second. So if this is the container, so liquid is pouring in. So dv by dt, this is 20. And it is pouring out, leaking out. So liquid is pouring out, so negative rate. So dv by dt. And it is proportional to the volume. That means kv. Proportional means multiplied by a constant. So the overall rate is going to be the difference of the rate. So question number A. Uh, liquid pouring in is dv by dt equals to 20 cm cube per second. Liquid pouring out is negative rate minus dv by dt is proportional to v. So dv by dt is 20 minus kv. So that is the overall rate. So the main question is solving the differential equation. So we have to use again the separable method. So dv. So we can take all the v terms on one side. So this will be 20 minus kv. And this is dt. So integrate both sides. So this is going to be ln. Reciprocal of a linear expression is ln. So 20 minus kv divided by the chain rule. So d by dv of 20 minus kv is minus k and this is 1 dt so that should be t plus c. 
Now, uh, this is the general solution of the differential equation, but we have this information. Container is initially empty. Empty means V equals to 0. Initially means T equal to 0. So, initially means T equal to 0. Empty means V equal to 0. This two information is given. So, we can write when V equals to 0, T equals to 0. So, it should be ln 20 divided by minus K equals to 0 plus C. So, we know the value of C. So, this becomes a particular solution. Therefore, ln 20 minus KV divided by minus K uh, equals to T minus ln 20. So, we can multiply both sides with minus K. So, that would be ln 20 minus KV equals to minus K T minus ln 20 by K and that would be minus KT minus minus plus ln 20. Therefore, we can convert the ln into E. So, 20 minus KV equals to E to the power minus KT plus ln 20. This is a pretty tricky sum. You have to be very careful so that uh, there is no mistake. It's very lengthy also. So, this is going to be e to the power ln 20 is 20. So, 20 e to the power minus kt. Let me uh, mention the rules that we have been using over here. Here, what we did is we multiplied with minus k. And then here, we use the rule e to the power ln x equals to x. So, we write 20 over here. From here to here, we wrote x to the power a plus b is the same as x to the power a multiplied by x to the power b. So, this is the indices rule. And from this line to this line, uh, we use the rule ln x equals to a, therefore x equals to e to the power a. So, we are using quite a number of different rules for simplifying this. So, that's why it might seem a bit difficult. You have to be very careful. So, this is going to be 20 minus 20 e to the power minus kt equals to kv. And if we send the k to the other side, therefore, uh, v equals to 20 minus 20 e to the power minus kt divided by k. And we can further simplify it. v equals to 20 by k minus 20 by k e to the power minus kt. So, we can say 20 by k is the arbitrary constant a and minus 20 by k is the arbitrary constant b and that's what they said. They said express in that format giving the values of a and b in terms of k. So, we can write the values in terms of k. So, a equals to 20 by k and b equals to minus 20 by k. The final part is given that dv by dt is 10 and t equals to 5. So, we need an expression where we have dv by dt, which is the rate of change or derivative, uh, or we can and put the value of t equals to 5. Now, the first thing that we have, uh, dv by dt equals to 20 minus kv, we don't have t in this expression, so we cannot use it. Instead, we can use the previous sum that we just did. So, so we can write this as the derivative is, so if this is if this is v, so we can write v equals to 20 by k, it's a constant, minus 20 by k, e to the power minus kt. So, the derivative would be dv by dt. So, we are differentiating v in terms of t. Uh, 20 by k is a constant, so it becomes 0. So, minus 20 by k is the coefficient. It would remain 20 by k. e to the power minus kt, the derivative would be the same. Into chain rule, d by dt of minus kt would be minus k. So, that turns out to be this is minus, this is minus, it becomes plus, and this k and this k cancels, it would be 20 e to the power minus kt. So, dv by dt is 10. So, at dv by dt equals to 10 and t equals to 5, from here we can write 10 equals to 20 e to the power minus k into 5, and we can find the value of k. So, 10 by 20 e to the power minus 5k, so this is half. Therefore, we can write minus 5k equals to ln half. And ln half is ln 2 to the power minus 1, which is if the uh, minus 1 power comes in front, it will be minus ln 2 
So this negative and this negative cancels. K equals to ln 2 by 5. So we have found the value of K. So ln 2 by 5. Now what we have to do is find the volume. So we have to find the volume. So we know the formula uh, and we can put the value when t equals to 10. So find the volume when t equals to 10. So let's get back to the volume expression. So volume equals to 20 by k minus 20 by k e to the power minus k t at t equals to 10 and k equals to 1 by 5 ln 2 we can write volume equals to 20 by ln 2 by 5 minus 20 by ln 2 by 5 e to the power minus k is 1 by 5 ln 2 and t is 10. So we can simplify this and write so 20 and divided by 1 by 5 is going to be 100 by ln 2 minus 100 by ln 2 and this 5 and this 10 cancels it becomes 2 so this becomes e to the power minus 2 ln 2 we can write 100 by ln 2 common and we can write 1 minus e to the power if you bring the minus 2 as the power of 2 it becomes ln 2 to the power minus 2 it becomes ln 2 to the power minus 2 so this would be 100 by ln 2 which is 1 minus e to the power ln 1 by 4 so 100 by ln 2 1 minus e to the power ln 1 by 4 is 1 by 4 and let's do it over here so we can write 100 by ln 2 1 minus 1 by 4 is 3 by 4 we can cancel this uh, 4 2 is 8 4 5 is 10 and this is 75 divided by ln 2 so that's the volume so this is a pretty lengthy sum and you have to be very very careful to do this